Lakes can be perfect for swimming, fishing, kayaking, and paddleboarding. A lake is a place where we make fond memories with family, drink with friends, and maybe get into trouble every once in a while, too. But not every trip to the lake is for fun on a warm day off. Sometimes, people find themselves visiting a lake against their will. And not just because they got dragged along by friends and family. Though lakes can be fun for a bunch of different activities, they can also be perfect for murder. My name is Brianne, and I'm the host and creator of Among the Dirt and Trees, a show where we explore true crime cases that occur out in nature. In today's episode, we're going to discuss another set of murders plaguing the history of a lake. This time, we're talking about Lake Mead, a prominent U.S. reservoir that's having a little trouble this summer because bodies keep showing up. Right now, the world is facing unprecedented challenges that are likely to influence the future of humanity and literally everything else. These challenges are leading to a lot of different changes, especially regarding weather patterns around the world. And the absolute truth is that this is something that we should all be worried about. But I'm not planning on solving climate change today. Instead, we're going to talk about how climate change is about to unveil a high volume of crimes and deaths. How do I know? Because it's already happening. If you've been reading the U.S. news, then you might have seen that we are currently experiencing what is being called a mega drought. Since life is fairly dependent upon water, this is some seriously bad news. Water levels are plummeting because of this drought, and we can see it, both in person and from space. But this drought is also turning into a very interesting occurrence from a true crime perspective. Already, sunken ships, boats, and other lake secrets are being revealed. And that's not all. With those sinking water levels, a string of bodies are coming to the surface. Or at least piercing it. So, let's talk about Lake Mead. Lake Mead is located between Nevada and Arizona, and is currently considered to be the largest reservoir in the United States. This reservoir reportedly supplies water to roughly 40 million people, So, full disclosure, if you live anywhere near this thing, and not even that close, you might very well be drinking water that has been spiced using human remains. But I'm pretty sure that's handled in the filtration process, so probably don't worry. Lake Mead is 120 miles long, and right now it is experiencing historic lows. This is not a good thing, in case that needs to be said, but it has made a lot of work for police in recent months. In July, its water level dropped to just over a thousand feet, and that means that a lot of the area that was previously covered by water is now land. With this development, several bodies have been found. On May 1st, National Park Service rangers found a barrel in a harbor. Presumably, they figured it was just an old barrel that had been dumped off a boat at some point. When they opened it, they received a pretty nasty surprise. Inside, there was a body. A body with a bullet wound. Now, investigators believe that this individual was killed back in the 70s or 80s. 
Their big indicator was that they were able to basically timestamp Kmart clothes from back then, aside from the general body investigation stuff. But my favorite thing about the way that this is being framed by the media is the dramatic updates saying that the coroner confirmed it was a homicide. Obviously, I don't like to make light of murders. But I read a few articles that phrased it like it was still up in the air whether or not this guy shot himself, placed himself in a barrel, and then rolled himself into a lake. Police did seem to treat it like a murder from the start, understandably. There's no real update on this because it is fairly recent, but the finger is being pointed at the mob. Apparently the mob was known to throw people in barrels to dispose of them. To add to this, police also found a gun near the same area. The individual has yet to be identified, but the Las Vegas Review Journal has speculated that the victim might be one of three mob-connected individuals that disappeared around then. The first suspected victim is Jay Vandermark, a guy who watched the slot machines for the mob in Vegas. The second is William Crespo, a drug runner that turned on the mob but disappeared before his trial. And the third is Johnny Pappas, a casino host from Vegas with mob ties. Between this and the Lake Tahoe rumors, I've decided to just never upset anyone who lives near a lake in Nevada. While police were still trying to find out about the person in the barrel, they received a call about another body in Lake Mead on May 7th. This time, the discovery was made by a couple of paddleboarders. These two sisters were out enjoying their time on the lake, paddling along, when they stumbled across what they believed to be the bones of a bighorn sheep. They started digging around and looking into the bones when they spotted something that was fairly concerning. A jaw. The jaw even had a silver filling, so unless it was the fanciest bighorn sheep in town, safe assumption that the remains were human. Understandably, they freaked out. Investigators have confirmed that the individual is human, saying the man was likely in his 20s or 30s, but there aren't any more details on the crime just yet. On July 25th, partial skeletal remains were uncovered in a popular beach area of the lake, with the rest being discovered on August 6th. And this is absolutely where my favorite quote in all of this comes from. NBC News interviewed a local fisherman on the matter. He said that he was thinking of giving up on the lake because, and I quote, I haven't got any fish, and everywhere I go, there's bodies. All I can really say to that is that seems very fair. Most people find fishing to be relaxing, so I can see how a bunch of bodies might kind of ruin the vibe. Now, a part of me does hope that he did give up on the lake, because on August 15th, police found even more human remains out in the water near that same beach. Needless to say, there has been a lot of police activity at Lake Mead, and we can probably expect more in the future. There is a lot to speculate at here and not a lot of concrete information. New information is being published about the bodies in Lake Mead on a regular basis, so maybe we will get some answers soon. For now, it seems like these bodies have likely been down there for decades, and only time will tell just how many murders have actually happened here. The first body did a good job of stirring up controversy. I think the fact that the body was so clearly a homicide and a pretty wild one at that has given the ongoing impression that any body pulled out of the lake is a murder victim, but that probably isn't true. 
in the last 90 years alone, over 300 people have drowned out on those waters. So some of the bodies might very well be deaths from an accident rather than outright murders. The only question is, what will they pull out of Lake Mead next? So, if you want to discuss the general hygiene of freshwater lakes, reasons to avoid hanging out with criminal organizations, or climate change, feel free to contact me on Twitter or Instagram using the tag at datpod. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.